if you are going to be out on the roads, you can expect it to be a pretty sunny drive and also a cool one, especially as we head toward the evening hours. Those 40s likely only feeling like the upper 30s, so some of you may need the heater on in the car to say the least. We're going to see a light breeze, but nothing that should be stopping you getting to and from the game. Looking outside right now, clear skies are out there. There's really nothing to worry about. And regionally speaking, we've gotten rid of that moisture, at least for us, and pushed it off farther to the east that we were working with yesterday. We are in turn now working with much cooler air that was left behind by that system. 30s, 40s, a few spots in the 50s. North Platte kind of missed out on that cold front. 56 degrees. Dodge City not doing too bad, but increasing winds. And winds are definitely playing a big role in things for us here locally as we head into the next couple of days. Even today, while things are remaining pretty quiet weather-wise, we do have just enough wind on top of those cool temperatures that things really won't feel much like those 40s. As we make it into the afternoon hours, it will feel much more like the upper 30s. So any outdoor activities you've got for today, make sure you are dressed and bundled for these type of conditions. We'll keep the sunshine around clear skies into the evening hours. 30s quickly feeling like 20s as we head into the overnight hours. Also happening overnight, increasing cloud cover and that eventually resulting in some spotty showers for us as we get into our Saturday afternoon. More rainfall expected in the evening hours, pushing farther to the east. A couple spots in there we could see some heavier rainfall rates, maybe a couple thunderstorms developing on the back end of this, but nothing that's really looking to impact us to a great regard as we head into our Saturday. Sunday, though, we are really going to increase those winds behind that system, and that's going to result in gusty conditions for much of the state and possibly even meeting that wind advisory criteria. So we'll, of course, keep you updated on that as we get a little bit closer. Looking at rain tracker, you're not going to see a whole lot. Maybe a couple sprinkles for areas around the metro and areas just west of I-35. Higher amounts are expected east of I-35, but this should not be ruining anyone's day. Sunday, though, I can easily see how winds would would ruin your day. 40s are not going to feel like it when you've got gusts expected to be quite that strong. So not the best weekend to spend outside. Good news is next week we're chock full of days that you can probably spend outside. No big weather events expected as we head toward your Monday through Friday. In fact, a nice looking warm up 60s even expected by next Friday. So I mentioned it yesterday. You have something to look forward to at the end of the tunnel, a little light at the end of the tunnel while you're dealing with those cold, bitter temperatures this morning.